You know, Bree, my good friend, Dr. Guy Harvey, certainly knows a lot about yes. shark fishing, loves the research. I think he loves the shark just as much as the blue marlin and all the billfish. Mm -hmm. So guess what? He did a little special package for us on sharks. Let's take, take a look and see what Captain or Doctor has to say. Okay. Hey, Rick and Bree. I'm really sorry I couldn't be on your show today. I'm right here in St. Pete Beach, which is a great place to fish, as you know. But this show is all about sharks. We start with tiger sharks, the subject of many of our expeditions. I mean, just look at this creature, the dark stripes, the impressive blunt face, and the eyes. Those eyes are always observant. The tiger shark is, without question, one of my favorite sharks to paint. They are captivating animals to dive with as well, but watch out for your cameras. We track tigers with what's called a spot tag. Here, we're applying one to the dorsal fin of a tiger shark. It really causes no discomfort to the animal. In fact, it's about the same as getting your ear pierced. But this work can be really difficult. The reward is in the tracking. Tiger sharks are highly migratory, traveling thousands and thousands of miles. All the tracking data helped to convince the Bahamian government to establish a shark sanctuary. This rewarding research takes us beyond the tiger shark to this shark, the oceanic white tip shark. It's another critical part of our studies because the oceanic used to be the most prolific animal on the planet, over 100 pounds. The population has been almost wiped out because of overfishing and bycatch. We've tagged the oceanics in both the Bahamas and off the coast of where I live in Grand Cayman. Oceanics are highly migratory as well, and every day we learn something new from the research. It just shows you how much there is to learn about the migratory patterns of many species. It also shows that it will take international cooperation to protect these animals. Which brings up another shark. Boom! The short fin mako. Our unprecedented research with this open ocean or pelagic animal is now in its sixth year. During that time, we've worked with short fin maker sharks in Mexico, off the coast of the Yucatan, and off the coast of Ocean City, Maryland. One shark named Tough Guy traveled all the way from Mexico to Nova Scotia. Even with the success of the maker sharks we've tagged, an alarming percentage of our makers have been caught and killed by fishermen. Now, makers are good to eat, but what about their overall status? That's what we need to find out to make sure their numbers stay healthy. The amazing thing about all of this research, you can take part in it right now by going to ghritracking.org. Hey, Rick and Bree, thank you so much for your continued support and, of course, for the support of all your viewers and fans who make our work possible. See you all soon on the water. That was just great. I love Guy. He's the best. So awesome. What yep. a great package that was. It was. Learned a lot too. Me too. <laughs>